What's up boys, welcome back to Sick Puppy 4x4. Now today we are gonna do $100 versus $1,000 versus $10,000 camping challenge. Now today we got Murph from Garn. I'm in the Beerbulance. Now obviously the Beerbulance isn't $1,000 but the camping equipment inside is. And we got Matty Power Snag in the Taj Mahal and he's got 10 grand's worth of camping equipment in that beast. So Murph, mate, we sent you in the Crazy Clarks with 100 bucks. You did. What'd you come out with? Somewhere to cook, somewhere to sleep, Somewhere to put me beers. It's all in there, mate. Well, you got a lot to say about this bag, but you mm. can show that off when we hit the camp, mate. I'll you ready? I'll show you up when we hit the camp, mate. I'm ready, let's go. On your bike. We made it through the track, now we're gonna have a hydration session and then set these camps up. And we're gonna see what Murphy's got in that backpack. Mate, you got sand everywhere. Oh, fuck fucking dog. dog. All right, so we've come back from our much needed hydration session. Matty has already set up his camp. He's got the full Darchi awning. That thing's gonna set you back about 1200 bucks. He's set up the eye camper. That thing's, ah, oh, you're not gonna get much change for five grand. He's got the full back kitchen with the fridge, the solar, and all up. That took him about six minutes to set up. So that's, that's pretty quick setup time when you're on the beers. So that's the $10,000 setup. Not bad for six minutes. We're gonna move on to mine now. All right, so my $1,000 has gone basically into barbecue, esky, and swag. So your swag is gonna set you back about 200 bucks. Weber Q, probably about 300. And then obviously I've gone for a more high-end esky. That's about 500 bucks up there. But you get what you pay for. I've also snuck in a few other bits that I had at home, so technically they cost me nothing for this trip. I've got a generator and I've got a box aircon. I'm gonna roll the swag out in the back of the Beerbulance shut all the doors, turn the aircon on, and have a nice, comfortable night's sleep. So it may be a $1,000 setup, but I can guarantee it I'm gonna be so much more comfortable than old 10K over here. That, that the setup was like five minutes, so I'm running a minute quicker than old Matty Power Snag. So now is where it all falls apart. So we're gonna go see what Murph's got going on with his 100 bucks from Crazy Clarks. We're gonna see if he can outdo me and Matty Power Snag. Let's go. Alrighty Merv, show us what you got going on for a hundred bucks. First up, we have the square grill for snags. You're gonna have to make a fire, you know that. Next up, we have the seven dollar axie to oh, make a fire. Nice. Not bad, thank you Crazy Clarks. A little bit of foam foundation, feel that. Make a nice and level. Nice and level. Level him out. Next up, if she gets a little bit chilly. We got the, yeah, we got the flanny blanket. Good find, Crazy Clarks, good find, nice, nice. and cheap. You got all this crap right here, but what are you gonna do for a shelter? We got some rain clouds coming in. All right, look, I've thought about this. I did see the rain clouds. So I've come prepared. Oh, blue tarp. With a big cat blue tarp. Now look, no Australian household is complete without a blue tarp. So I've got that plus two bits of rope. Because as you can see, we have two trees. 30 meters. I've got 60, 60 meters, meters of rope. Of rope. For $2 each, I couldn't say no to the 60 but. So we've got two trees, I'm gonna sling some fucking rope betwixt the boys. Betwixt, up, betwixt 30 them. 30 metres per you, tree, but look can... how far away these trees are from each other, bro. Only 60 <laughs> metres at least. It's like five metres. <laughs> Don't tell the viewers that. <laughs> You're blowing up my spot. You're blowing up Gun HQ, my bro. Next up, something to see at night. Are they fairy lights? There's string, 50 LED fairy lights. They, they run on batteries. Lights. They run on AA batteries, so I also picked up some AA batteries and it was in, within the budget. I'm not jamming and scamming on you, bud. This chair, this chair is getting <laughs> no. worse by the minute. It's completely fucked after 11 seconds of use, but it hasn't broken or exploded or anything. It's just bent. Complete set of this chair. It's going oh, back look, to normal. Come good. She'll come good. And she's good! Fucking four dollars of crazies, bud. That's good shit. All right, Murph, I admire all the crap you got and I believe that it is a hundred dollars. As of now, I wish you luck in your future endeavors. I'm gonna go have another beer. I'll see you when the camp's set up. I'm gonna have a couple of beers and attempt to set the camp up. <laughs> now watch this. Yeah, we're watching. <laughs> You're not watching. Watch, watch, watch properly. Both. Watch properly. 
We're watching. No, you can squint your eyes, boys. Look a little bit closer, mate. She fuck, she's turning up pretty That's good, a big eh? Cup, bro. Nah, look. You do nah, it well. Have a fucking squeeze. Nah, look. I've got her a long way around. That's why. Sorry, boys, wasn't working. Here we go. I think I've done a slight miscalculation here, boys. I don't think she's long enough to reach the ground. I told you. You didn't tell me a fucking thing. I did. You watched me do this. Yeah, you watched. The cunt's not long enough to reach all over the ground, so I reckon I tie one end down, ask the boys for a peg or something, and peg the other end down to the ground. Now, it looks a little bit windy, so you can't see the full vision just yet, but trust me, this cunt's gonna polish up just fine, fellas. It's not looking good, old Murph's design. Like, it may be a lot cheaper than a thousand bucks, but I wouldn't waste my time with something like that. I'd just sleep on the ground in the sand to save a hundred dollars. You done? All right, let's go, cunt. <laughs> I don't think it's looking too good. <laughs> oh, ouch. Have you ever tried a beer? All right, boys, we're back. Set up a little bit of the shelter. The wind died down, so I can actually put the cunt up. Um, now that we've got this up, I'm going to montage the inside, doing a little bit of interior decorating. Then we'll invite the boys back over to have a gaze at what I've created. Alrighty boys, I think that's me all done up. Uh, it's been about an hour and a half, hour 45, but I think you'll agree with me when I say it's worth the wait. What do you reckon, cuz? That's fine. That's pretty, pretty fucking good, eh? That's pretty flash, man. That looks like a wedding. Cunt, I'll show you the fucking receipt. That looks like a wedding, bro. All right? What are your thoughts, bro? Hey, don't kick me fucking bedding. It's a bit Wait, fucking... no, have a lay down, bud. Have a kip. Have a kip. Look at that. What was that hissing noise? Don't worry about the hissing and the air coming out of it. It's good and it's ready to go. That's not bad, honestly, man. man. 100 bucks, but look, 100 bucks That's is all you need to go camping. Are you going to fold this up and put it back in the bag for next If he's having a kip in it, that means it's Cody certified. There's, it is sick puppy approved and you owe me a sticker. In all honesty, this is a pretty good setup for 100 bucks. But you. we're going to see how you go on the camping cooking challenge. And then that'll be the hammer drop decider final and whether or not I'm gonna sell the beer villains and just camp in a push park <laughs> from now on. Alrighty boys, I've had a few beers. Now it's on to the cooking challenge. Now you all know Matty, he jumps the gun a bit. His roast has been on for eight hours. Before we could film anything, he's already dished it up. So we'll check out Matty's one. We'll move over to mine. Come on boys. So what Matty's got, he's got a pork roast. He's done it on a fancy rotisserie. He's got a Bluetooth thermometer that he puts in the meat. It's definitely the $10,000 way to cook a roast. We're gonna throw a slab of pork roast on the Sanger. We're gonna throw some tomato sauce. Now this is a crime, putting tomato sauce on pork roast, but so that's what he had out, so I'm guessing that's all he's got. So we're gonna throw, that's it. That's, that's, $10, that's a 10K setup right here. We'll have a taste <laughs> test. <laughs> this is the 10K Sanger right here. Excellent, as always. I may be a lower price point, but I reckon I'm gonna be on par with the quality of food that's about to be brought to the table. I'll get the Weber fired up, and we'll go check in what Murph's doing, see what he's got cooking over there. For a hundred bucks, I doubt he can beat me. Murph, it's dinner time. What are you cooking, mate? Fucking Aussie staple, bud. Beef snags. Get that up your guts, cunt. Oh, yeah, it's flip him up. I'm gonna squash the snags in there. Don't fucking lose your shit. You told me to flip it up, you oh, fuck. You gotta ask me. Fuck. Can I flip your you shit up? You gotta ask me, cunt. Can I flip your shit up? How much is it? Don't fucking, you're gonna get fucking sand me fucking snags, cunt. Ask me how much this setup costs, bro. Bro, Murph, how yeah, much? Yeah, Cody. Murph, how much does this setup cost, bro? Oh. You've had four Jaegers. Great, get your shit together. Grow up, would you, cunt? <laughs> ask me again. <laughs> <laughs> ask me again. <laughs> Don't fucking go near my grill, cunt. This is my rectangle grill. You're Murph, making me chair. Murph. Stop much, fucking touching your grill. How much is your setup, bro? Murph. Murph. How much is your setup, bro? Let's just, let's, well. just, let's just start again. Step, step, step. Hello, Drinking. Murph. What are you cooking? Well, hello, my good friend, Cody. These sausages were $6 each. I've got two packs, $12. I didn't and ask then you my, 
my rectangle grill master. I don't know. Ten bucks, eight bucks. Excuse me, Murph, but I need to go to into the oh the fire that's at the back <laughs> of my car. <laughs> So all you need to cook anything is a couple step, of coals. Step, 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 step. Oh, Cody, you've Hello, returned. Man. Hello, Cody. I am back. From shake's hand. Four by four. End of shake. End of shake. All right, so we're going to lay these snags in, into the grill. Look at that. All the snags are in there. Hey. Nice. And now, we've got sand in them. Oh, to go the to the Weber, mate. I'll see you later. We still don't it, fuck off. Boys, I fucked up big time. I know I'm up next to do the cooking bit, but I did not bring any food for the Weber. So I'm gonna have to go to the only place, the only bloke I know that has food at this time of night. Bonjourno, motherfuckers! All right, I'm back, Cody's hungry. I'm gonna make some hot dogs tonight. Not just any ordinary hot dogs. I went to Brumby's and got myself some tip-top buns. I went in my back garden and picked out a couple of little baby onions. Went and milked the goat, got some cheese. Um, whipped up some Heinz barbecue sauce. Went and killed a cow, got some sausages. And just went to the shop and bought that stuff, but she'll be right. <laughs> That's a lot of <laughs> Yeah, I just bought this one. one. <laughs> Alright, we're doing this camp style way. No Bunsen burners, just a good old fucking campfire. Out in the wilderness. Good old fucking wilderness, this one. But anyway, alright. We'll get the old foil out. First things first, we'll get some buns out. One. Fuck it, we'll all go all out, eh? We'll cook all six of them. Cody said he was fucking quite hungry. Still hungry, Coach? Extremely. It's fucking sexy, eh? Good hey, heart. Man. Good. Pick them out. Stop being fucking picky, you bitch. So the V's, man, they're no good. So if you cut a V, what happens is you can't get as much material in there. You can't be splitting the mud. You can't be splitting the mud. Next part. Get a bit of fucking... Soy soy beans, or what is what it called? Stag chili, southwestern style chicken. <laughs> Get a bit of this out. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <Bit of juice. laughs> you got more on me than you did on your freaking bun. <laughs> Good. All right, tip a bit in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, sensational. Just gonna... <laughs> it looks like shit. Looks like me sitting on the toilet after fucking the Chinese. <laughs> what? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> no luster. I think that'll. I think you might need to cut six of them, brother. Six buns, six little onions. So where's everyone else on the beach, there, Cobes? Matty, Matty's all set up. Yeah. Murphy spent about two hours stringing up a tarp. <laughs> And I didn't set up anything, so I just packed up everything, come straight here, sirens blaring, everyone got the hell out of my way. Oh, at least have a beer See, on the way. Yeah, no one pulls over emergency <laughs> service vehicle, mate. No, no, mate, no. <laughs> Alright, we'll go back now, alright. Alright, now next thing, we'll throw a couple of snags in the old, look at that. Oh, fucking no cooking involved. Now the next thing is, so next thing we do here, Put a bit of alfoil, you know. Don't be too shy on the alfoil, guys. I can send him home. Send the other side home. We stick him in here. Like so. Let me just do the, continue the rest like that. Fucking Throw cheese. some more cheese on them ones. Cheese. Lucky we got that guy. Hmm. Lucky, eh? <laughs> Can't taste wrong. Oh, I suppose mozzarella cunt. Well, I'm gonna cook myself a fucking sausage now. Oh, now it's boiling cheese. Oh, sorry. Fuck the bun. She's max capacity. Bro. She's max. She's maxed out, boys. So, 
Should we have cooked the sausage before you put it in the No, nah, apparently you just fucking throw the sausage straight in, bud, and that's it. Job's on. Where are you getting this information from? Google. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna let these cunts fry up and we'll be back. Alright, we're gonna let these cunts fry up and we will be back. Are you talking about your brain cells again? <laughs> They're already fried, they were fried before. All right, we're gonna try and keep this heat in a bit longer. So right, we'll turn him into a fucking alfoil oven. Get that nice fucking smoky flavor in there as well. Oh, look at that. I reckon a bit more alfoil button should be sensational. Remember guys, jump on the Patreon and keep us buying more alfoil. Cause it <laughs> I've used, we've almost used a full roll on six fucking hot dogs, bro. Well, someone decided to turn it into an oven and killed the fucking fire. Turns out that fire needs oxygen. You're a dickhead, eh? Yeah. Let's do this for a crack. Oh, cunt, that smells good, too. Fucking hell, cunt. It's still fucking raw as a dog in there. That's fucking good, eh? Is that a bun? Yeah. Alright, I'm going for it, Spud. He's going, I'm for, going it. for it. He's upper. Look at it, it's beautiful. Mmm. Good? Spud wins. I always win. Spud wins. Good? Oh, yeah. Look oh, at that. Oh, she's a bit fucking burnt on the bottom, but we'll give it a crack. I reckon a bit more cheese. Ah! Yeah, that's a camp hot dog, that one. Oh. That's a fucking one out of ten, brother. Fuck yeah, that's a good fucking cooking. Fuck, I make good decisions I ever made. Yep. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Thinking about sausage, spud sausage. Yep. Alright <laughs> All right, guys, so there's a quick idea on how to cook sausages at the campfire. Alright boys, I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna hit the sack. This pretty much wraps up today's episode. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Do the likey thingy and fuck off. See you in the next one. This is so good, Spud. Mmm, that's good. Mmm. <sighs> Fuck the hell. Oh, my fucking camp. Where the fuck the boys go? Oh, my fucking bike, cunt. <laughs>